Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotzoC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft Resident Mining. Uh, last time we uh, went to an ancient city uh, to get these fancy new pants with Swift Sneak 3 so I can build way faster while sneaking about. And the time before that, we created a bit of a colorful mess, uh, you can see down there. And actually, today I want to add a bit more, or more precisely, uh, I want to complete the whole setup so we can supply everything that we can request. Uh, through that system and I think we have put in the base for that uh, what we test already uh, is with the with the cobblestone that we filled up but then we also um, uh, figured out how to deal with stone and smooth stone uh, that needs to be smelted. I uh, have that figured out. Uh, so I think in that regard, all that needs to be done there is request enough material until the chests are filled up. And then um, we have to we have a few more materials that we have to deal with um, stone is on a good side we have a few chests there um, normal stone we need a bit more uh, same for the smooth stone Glass is not in the system. Iron, easy to hook up. That's just back there. We just need to have a redstone line and a supply line. Dirt, uh, same story. Uh, supply line and delivery line. And then same for the wood. And uh, in between the last episode and this one I was busy farming the wood there so that we have stockpiled a few shulker boxes uh, below so we can ex actually request that as well um, but I think we had quite a few episodes where I tinkered with this system so I'm thinking I will do that first, finish that uh, that part, um, and then we can actually do something way more interesting. Um, focus on this hole here, um, which we dug out also a few episodes back. So. I think it's a bit of uh, work involved to, to get that first part done, uh, but then the fun can start. There are a few more things going on down here with lines crisscrossing over each other. Uh, not that much more color as opposed to that piece there. Um, but it's all good and working. The only troublesome part was our dirt farm, which was so far away from our storage system that I had to increase the simulation distance so the redstone signal could actually reach the destination and request a bit of dirt. But now let's head over into this big hole down here where we will be building a tunnel bore uh, and we want to bore in this direction 
and as well in this direction. And we do that uh, with a design by Il Mango. It's not the most compact design, uh, but it does not need any ancient debris. And from past experience we learned ancient debris is hard to come by uh, if you cannot uh, do any mining. So hopefully all that I need for one set of tunnel bore is, is in these chest. Ooh, I think I'm missing some some walls. But let me put uh, together the tunnel board that goes in this direction. This tunnel will not be that long, uh, but uh, it needs to be done as well as, as this one. So let me put this together. If you want to know how to build the farm, you can find the link to uh, Il Mungo's uh, video down in the description. While I've been preparing the setup for the tunnel bore here on this side, I noticed that we have a tiny bit of not enough space here on this side because we need clearance uh, of uh, three blocks. And that's probably still not enough because these are the markers where we have the pistons. And as you can see, this module uh, goes out uh, one more. So we should have from this one, two, three uh, over there. And I decided to play a bit with uh, boom boom sticks. And it did not go exactly as planned, so I lost a few of my items. But luckily, the most important one, the fast build pants could be rescued. Uh, however, I uh, lost the, the wings, the shoes, sword, um, pick, and... Uh, I'm not sure, did I put away shovel and axe because it got in the way, but I need to need to gear up and then of course um, really make some room here on this side so we can actually have uh, this unfinished module two more times over here and that should be uh, great uh, to get us a tunnel in that direction. Here on this side I expanded so far that we reached a cobblestone that is actually part of the filling for the gunpowder farm. But we have this machine now in place and I must say me blowing up was not the only thing the machine itself also went two or three times boom, uh, mostly because of blocks just not being in the right spot and when activating it, it got blown up. But now we should be okay. As mentioned, this is designed by a Mango and I think Doc M77 has also built this design at least in the last two seasons. However, he used it mainly to get building materials for his redstone. That's not what we are here for. Uh, we are here uh, on the lowest level. Usually you would go a bit higher up. So you are above the lava lakes. Um, but I think uh, at least in this direction and also in this one, we should be good. And I'm thinking as we are doing one layer after another, uh, we hopefully can deal with any lava we come across. So I think to finish this episode, um, 
we will end this with a time lapse moving this machine forward about 70 blocks that's all that we need in this direction uh, and then next time we can actually see what we do with the space down here all right that's it for today from me i uh, hope you enjoy this and uh, tune in next time when we will use the space down here all right then till next time goodbye